Hey guys and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to put custom cold boot on your PSP. Well, this site is where you can download all the cold boots for your PSP. Well, cold boot is the opening start and sound when you're on your PSP. Well, you must have 3.71 M33 to do this. If you don't, then I'm sorry, don't do it because you could possibly break your PSP. Well, here's this site right here. Just copy this link. Well, type this link at the top of your URL bar. It could take a while, but just do it anyway. It's worth it. And once you do that, you'll be brought to this page. This guy, hi boy, posted it. And this is where you can download it right here. Just click download. I already have a download. Just download it to your desktop. Alright. Then you'll be, then go to the folder to which you download it. All right, I put it in cold boots. It'll be called 3.71 boot sounds. So go ahead and click that. Now here's all the sounds in it. There's so many to choose from, so it could take a while to choose that one. But I've done a lot of them, so I'm used to them. Um, let's pick one randomly. Um, Austin Powers, yeah. All right. Ignore the sound. That's only if you want to hear it. Um, what you want to do, you want to rename it. All you want to do, focus on is click right before the O and erase this right here. You will not be needing that or else it will not work. Press enter. Now the file name is that. Alright, cool. What you want to do now is copy that. Press copy. Now what you want to do is turn on your PSP and hold R. Alright, and you'll be placed into recovery mode on the M33 version. What you want to do, you want to scroll down to advanced. Let me show you that real quick. Alright, you want to go down to advanced, right there, press X. Now go to toggle USB flash zero. Be careful, because do not delete anything or mess with anything unless you ask someone you really trust first because this is where it really gets difficult it could possibly break your PSP and you know you have to get a Pandora's battery to fix it which I have right here and the magic memory stick alright what you want to do you want to go to re removable disk F and here it is right here everything on the PSP technical now what you want to do is click on VSH. Ignore these right here. That will hurt it. Now you want to click on Module. Ignore the rest. Now here's all the little things to the PSP. Launchers, music, photo player, everything. Alright. You want to find the opening plugin. Mine is at the bottom, which is right here. Openplugin.prx. Remember that little file you, paste, you copied? What you want to do, you want to right click and click paste. I'll say would you like to replace this. Press yes, but before you do that, that little file right there, you might want to copy and put it on your desktop because once you replace it, you're not going to get it back. And, you know, you may want that, that original sound back. So it's just a tip. I did it. So, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and click replace, copy and replace. And now it's done. What you want to do is exit out. Go back to your PSP and click back. Now you want to scroll out all the way to exit and your PSP will now reboot and you'll hear your sound. Here it comes, right here. Yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> and that's a custom cold boot for your PSP. I hope you all enjoyed I hope you all enjoyed this short video, and I hope to see you guys again. Um, thanks, and remember, careful, and happy hacking.